do you really know Jesus Christ? Because many Christians do not know him. Just calling yourself a Christian does not mean that you know Jesus Christ. Sadly, many Christians are strangers to Jesus Christ. Maybe they got baptized when they were young. Maybe they received the title Christian. Maybe they even go to church every Sunday, but they do not want to live with Jesus and walk in the way that Jesus walks. You see, the name Christian means a follower of Christ. Christian, Christian. Christian means to be a follower of Jesus Christ. It means to walk, to, it means to live with Jesus Christ. It means to walk like Jesus Christ walks. The Bible tells us in 1 John chapter 2, verse 6, whoever says that he abides in him, Jesus Christ, ought to walk in the same way as Jesus Christ walked. Whoever says he abides in Jesus ought to walk in the same way as Jesus walked, all right? A true Christian walks like Jesus Christ. If you are not walking like Jesus Christ, then you only have the title Christian. But deep within your heart, you don't know Christ, okay? Because a true Christian lives with Jesus and a true Christian walks as Jesus Christ walked. So just calling yourself a Christian is not good enough. That's just a title. You have to live like Jesus. You have to live with Jesus. You have to abide in him and he needs to abide in you. You need to abide in him and his word needs to be in you. You need to be filled with the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit needs to be in you, operating through you. You need to be a vessel to release the light into this darkened world, into the darkened souls of man. So that the light shines in the darkness and the darkness cannot comprehend. All right, so just calling yourself a Christian is not good enough, right? You have to come wholeheartedly with your whole heart, not a part of yourself, with your whole heart and live with Jesus. Not treat him as a hotel. Well, I'll uh, book myself in today. I'll dwell there today, but then tomorrow I'm away. I'll come back in on Tuesday when I need a place to rest, when I need a place to sleep, when I need somewhere to tell my problems. And then I'll check out on Saturday. And then I'll come back again when I need it. No, we don't treat Jesus like a hotel, like a motel. All right, we have to come with all of our hearts and live with him. We need to dwell in him. He needs to dwell in us. We need to abide in him. He needs to abide in us. Okay, we need to live with him. We have to completely surrender our old self, our old life. Surrender that. Give that. Our old life, our old self. We need to make that exchange. We need to trade that in for a new life with Jesus Christ for a new self that is in the image of Jesus Christ so when people look at you they no longer see you but they see the Christ in you and when people hear your words they no longer hear you but they hear the words of the Holy Spirit who speak through you hang on okay so we have to surrender the old life and the old self and make that exchange for a new life and a new self with Jesus Christ. He who is in Christ is a new creation. The old has gone and the new is here, right? And we need to make that exchange. And that's only done when we invite Jesus Christ into our heart. So we need to confess our sin, repent, all right? Repentance means a complete change of mind. So I was going this way and now I'm no longer going that way, I'm going this way. I was lying and now I repent. I'm no longer doing that. I'm going this way. But it's not just a change of mind, a change of direction. We need to start walking in that direction as well. And it needs to be the direction that is with God. Walking with Jesus. Walking in the ways of Jesus. It's not just repenting. Okay, I repent. I regret what I did. I won't do it again. But then you just stay stagnant here. No, you need to start walking with Jesus Christ. That's part of the, that's, uh, part of the, uh, the repentance. We need to surrender our whole lives to God's will. <coughs> the Bible says, thy will be done, not mine. So we need to confess our sins, we need to repent, and we need to surrender to God's will for our life. 
It is a heart that is no longer oriented toward me, but toward God. No longer oriented toward my ways, but God's ways. No longer oriented toward my ambitions, but God's ambitions. No longer my intentions, my plans, my future, but God's intentions, God's plans, God's, God's future. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans for you to prosper. So God's ways are prosperous ways. Okay, we need to get ourselves out of the middle. We need to follow God in all of his ways. Ask God to crucify you. Lord, crucify me. Crucify everything that is not of you. Le leave only what is of you. Crucify me. Break me. Break me. The Bible tells us that God is the clay, uh, the potter, and we are the clay. Okay, God makes us ask him to break you so he can remake you into the, his perfect image. All right. Be perfect like your father is perfect. OK. And unless you are serious about God making you into his perfect image, you will never know Jesus Christ. That's a harsh statement, but it's true. Unless you are serious about change and allowing God to break you so that he can remake you and make you into his perfect image, you will never really know who Jesus Christ is. You might have a mental understanding of Jesus because you read about him in the Bible, or because you watch him on YouTube videos or whatever, but you will never really know who Jesus Christ is. I mean, really, really, really know. You will never really know who Jesus Christ is unless you choose to live with him. You see, you never really know somebody unless you live with them. You can watch me on YouTube videos for the next 100 years. But unless you live with me, you will never really know me. Right? And it's the same. You can read about Jesus all you like, but unless you live with him inside, he in you and you in him, you will never really know him. The Bible tells us in Revelation chapter 3 verse 20. I, Jesus said, this is Jesus speaking. He says, I stand at the door and I knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in and eat with him and he with me. It's talking about a house, but it's not talking about a building house. I stand at the door and I knock. Which door is he talking about? The door of your heart. I stand at the door and I knock. If anyone hears my voice and he opens the door of that house, I will come in. So unless Jesus comes in and you live with him, you will never really know him. All right. We live with him and we get to really know him when he comes into this house and he lives with us. That's the only way you get to really know somebody. You live with them, right? Unless you open the door of your heart, you will never really know Jesus and you will never really understand Jesus. And if you neither know him nor understand him, I tell you, you are missing out on everything. Everything. Not some things. Everything. You're missing out on everything. There's no point me saying you're missing out on this and on that and on that because I will be here until tomorrow and I don't have this time on my hands right now. So let me say this, you are missing out on everything. And that is no exaggeration. Absolutely none. Now, with that being said, my books, Spiritual Warfare, Spiritual Warfare, Worldly Life of Deception, the deceptions that even the Christians fall for. Boy, oh boy. Who is God? New Age to Jesus Christ. Can be purchased from any Amazon worldwide or just use the link below. If you need an anointing oil for beautification, for pain, for sickness, for disease, so you can anoint the body or you can anoint your home. Uh, I prayed and fasted one week for that anointing oil, so it's powerful stuff. I had testimonies that people used that oil on them and things were broken off them. This man was, um, he couldn't stop masturbation. Masturbation is a sin. After using the uh, anointing oil, it was just broken off them. So many things, so many testimonies I've heard with this particular oil, which I fasted for a week, 
it's just breaking things off of people and the anointing shall break the yoke that can be found below it's free of charge but you will pay for your shipping uh god bless you peace be with you